forests. Forests are large areas of land covered with trees, woody vegetation with animals, birds and other living things as well. Forests are a very important part of the Earth's biosphere and influence our life both directly and in an indirect manner. Evergreen, coniferous and deciduous forests are the different types of forests based on prevailing climatic conditions of the region. Mixed forests have trees of different kinds. Let us learn more about evergreen forests, better known as equatorial or tropical rainforests. Equatorial or evergreen forests. As the name suggests, the equatorial region is the area lying on and around the equator. These areas have a typically hot and wet type of climate and are thus also known as hot wetlands. This kind of climate supports the growth of rainforests. Rainforests are found in different continents but are situated close to the equator. These evergreen rainforests receive ample warmth and sunlight and are thus very rich in flora and fauna. Zaire, now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo, is an important country from the equatorial region. Let us study this country to know more about the equatorial region. Democratic Republic of the Congo, Zaire The Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC or Zaire is located deep in the African continent. The country falls in the tropical zone and is almost totally covered by the tropical and evergreen rainforests. Location Zaire is surrounded by the following countries on its four sides. The Central African Republic and Sudan in the north, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and Tanzania in the east, the Republic of the Congo in the west, Zambia and Angola in the south. Climate Being in the equatorial region, Zaire experiences bright sunshine in the morning but becomes very hot by noon. The intense heat evaporates the water in its rivers, lakes and swamps. There is often heavy rainfall during the day, especially in the afternoons. The hot and humid climate and afternoon rains is a typical feature of the climate of DRC. There are plateaus and mountains in the east and southeast region of Zaire which make its climate quite moderate there. There is no distinct winter season in Zaire. Vegetation The heavy rainfall and high temperature in the region result in luxuriant growth of vegetation. The evergreen forests form thick canopy 
of dark green leaves and the undergrowth which makes it almost impossible for sunlight to pass through. Zaire is thus called the heart of darkness. These forests abound in trees such as mahogany, ebony, rosewood, cinchona and rubber. Eucalyptus and Iroko, also called African teak, found in rainforests are very good sources of timber. Cinchona is an important source of quinine or medicine used in curing malaria. Wildlife Rainforests are home to a rich and diverse variety of flora and fauna, animals, birds, reptiles and insects. You will find the most colourful birds with long, bright feathers and tails in these rainforests. In addition to the commonly known animals like elephants, hippopotamuses, rhinosauruses and monkeys, we also find Bonobo chimpanzees, gorillas, baboons, and apes here. There are also crocodiles and alligators, pythons, vipers, tree cobras, tree lizards, and a variety of frogs and chameleons in these tropical rainforests. A major attraction is the parrots and parakeets, cranes, eagles and vultures found here. These thick rainforests have deadly varieties of insects like bees and beetles, tsetse fly, termites, ants and other animals like scorpions, centipedes and millipedes. Human Life and Activity Agriculture Farming is largely practiced in Zaire. Major food crops grown are cassava, plantains, yams, beans, sweet potatoes, maize, rice and vegetables. Robusta coffee is the main cash crop while crops such as coconut, rubber, cotton, groundnuts, and palm oil are a few other export commodities. Most of the people here practice shifting agriculture. They clear a piece of forested land either by cutting or burning so as to remove wild or unwanted growth. They grow crops on this land for about two to three years. The fertility of the land diminishes by the end of this period and they then move to a new area. Life of the people Zaire is not a very populated country with only about 30% of its population living in cities. People who have settled in villages 
and practice farming or mining are mostly the Bantu tribes. Who are Pygmies? Pygmies are the earliest inhabitants of this region and live in the dense forests. They enjoy dancing and music. These are short and stout people who live in houses made from tree branches, twigs and leaves. Their main occupation is hunting and gathering honey and other forest produce. Trade and Industry The country is rich in mineral resources, especially its southern region. DRC is the world's largest producer of cobalt ore and has more than 30% of world's diamond reserves. Zaya is rich in diamond, gold, manganese, cobalt, uranium and copper. With increasing industrialization the world over, there is significant export and rising commercial value of these minerals. Other industries include cement, textiles, vegetable oils and food processing. There are more and more factories coming up in major cities like Kinshasa, Lubumbashi, Likazi and Matadi. Transport and Communication Roads and railways connect a few major cities and the mining centers. The Congo River and its tributaries serve as the most important means of transport. Work is being carried out to connect mining centers to more cities. Some important cities have quite good communication facilities such as telephones, radio and television as well as satellite communication link-up too. Newspapers are also published in the country which has improved the overall awareness in the people there. Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo is the largest city and also an important river port. Kinshasa is connected with Matadi by rail. Banana and Boma are two small seaports. Matadi is the biggest seaport of the Democratic Republic of Congo. It also has a big railway terminal. Zaire also has a well-developed air transport system. Kisangani, Kinanga and Lubunbashi are some important cities of Zaire. We now know what are equatorial rainforest. 